New at 10, as we've shown you all the damage Hurricane Michael is causing throughout the southeast, we know crews across, uh, from across to Tennessee Valley are going to be helping everyone impacted by the storm. Way 31's Cody Fisher joins us live in Huntsville now with the latest on who is sending help. Cody? Dan, tonight I learned that the Red Cross, including crews from right here in North Alabama, is planning on sheltering 15,000 people and serving 30,000 meals a day to the people impacted by this storm. And they say they could help even more people if they need to. The damage you're seeing in this video is why the Red Cross is anticipating helping so many people. They say what we're seeing is just a fraction of the families who live in the path of this storm. And right now, they're stationed throughout southern Alabama, waiting to find out exactly where they will deploy, and that will likely happen as soon as the sun rises. While the Red Cross is helping people who did not evacuate, we know linemen from Joe Wheeler Electric Membership Corp will be going to help restore power. We know Huntsville Utilities has crews that will go make repairs to the power grid as well. And Decatur Utilities is also sending crews. Now here in the Tennessee Valley, we also know the Huntsville Dragway is opening their gates to evacuees from the storm. And we know Alabama A&M is helping to house livestock for the people evacuated from the path of the storm. Now, I've talked to several people from Huntsville who were actually on vacation down in Florida and had to cut that vacation short and come back up here to North Alabama because of this storm. But they didn't want to talk to us because they said it was insensitive for them to talk about their sh cut short vacation when people are potentially losing their homes and lives down in Florida. Reporting live in Huntsville, Cody Fisher, Way 31 News.